importance of the family, one of the two great institutions in Chinese society, the family is nodal, pivotal in Chinese society in a way that it just isn't in the West, in any society anymore. Um, uh, how, how is it? Well, I mean, there's lots of illustrations I could give you. You know, the Chinese always write their, symbolically they write their name. The family name always comes before the given name. The family name is what matters, not the given name. Um, marriage is a union of families, not simply a union of two individuals. Um, um, Chinese parenting, you may be familiar with this, but Chinese parenting is really significantly different from Western parenting. Um, there's a very good book by Howard Gardner, the Harvard educationist on this. I think he must have adopted a Chinese kid or something because he spent quite a bit of time in China. And, uh, and you know, he, he draws the, 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 the very strong differences. Chinese parenting is much more prescriptive. Um, it, it's based on a much stronger notion of what is right uh, and what is wrong. And the authority of the parent is much greater than it is uh, in uh, Western societies. Or the position of the elders, the seniors in Chinese society. I mean, by law as well as by custom, it is the responsibility of parents to look after and keep their, uh, the, uh, the, 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 old, the elders of the family, the seniors uh, of the family. And also, by the way, I mean, and this is not uh, confined by any means to China, but it's common in East Asia, it is a shame shame-based culture, not a guilt-based culture. Western culture is a guilt-based culture. We need to save, we have to, you know, Jesus Christ you know, was born on earth to save us from our sins. That is not the way in Chinese society or in Japanese society or Vietnamese society it works. It is based on shame, a, a question of losing face and so on. And you are socialized by the processes uh, within the family. The Chinese essentially have a much more optimistic and always have had much more optimistic view of human nature than Westerners. They don't think we're inherently sinful. They think if you have the correct, if you're brought up in the right way by your family and by the educational process, there's no reason why you can't be a good person. So that's my, that's my second point uh, about Chinese society. This is a fundamental difference and whatever the enormous change is taking place, this will be in various ways, changing ways, mutating ways, it will remain, it seems to me, fundamental feature of China.